Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Tuesday's episode of EastEnders at 7.30 p.m., CRTV Guide for Full Listings, Patrick Yolanda finds out the truth about Pastor Gideon Clayton's sexual attack against him, and a red mist surrounds him. Yolanda's life has been completely destroyed because, at her charity function at the community center, the pastor, a guy she believed to be trustworthy, touched her inappropriately. Yolanda is experiencing a crisis of faith as a result of the attack, but she is unable to tell her loved ones, including partner Patrick, the truth. He has intimidated Yolanda and gaslight her, even going so far as to suggest to Patrick that she is ill. Yolanda is resolved to reveal Gideon for the monster he is after discovering that he is leveling serious charges regarding her mental health. Yolanda requests that Elaine Peacock, the only person who is aware of her ordeal, contact her to see how she is doing. Patrick is horrified and devastated as he listens to Elaine gently describe what has happened to Yolanda over the phone. When Patrick tries to get in touch with Yolanda later, she runs off and locks herself in the toilet because she is too upset to talk. As the truth of what Yolanda went through begins to set in, Patrick becomes enraged and rushes outside to locate Pastor Clayton. Yolanda, who is crying, runs after him and manages to stop him from doing anything he could later regret. Back in their own space, the pair talks about everything that Yolanda has gone through. Yolanda courageously consents to report Pastor Clayton to the church authorities with Patrick's help. On Monday at 7.30 p.m., on EastEnders, Pastor Gideon Clayton tells a wicked lie about Yolanda Truman in order to keep his dark secret safe. See our TV guide for a complete schedule. After the pastor subjected Yolanda to a horrifying sexual assault, her entire world fell apart. She now questions her beliefs and acts in a very unusual way as a result of the attack. Patrick Truman, Yolanda's partner, is terribly concerned about her, but is unable to determine the exact cause of her illness. When Yolanda doesn't show up for the food truck debut that she worked so hard to arrange, Denise Fox becomes worried. Following Denise's counsel, Patrick confides in Pastor Clayton about Yolanda's precarious condition and asks for his assistance. However, in a startling attempt to hide his own culpability, the crafty cleric suggests that Yolanda might be ill. Subsequently, Yolanda becomes enraged at Patrick's deceit when he informs her of Pastor Clayton's purported concerns for her well-being. Will she have the guts to report his horrible act in light of this? In another scene, Honey Mitchell requests that Billy Mitchell offer Stevie Mitchell, his estranged father, an opportunity to make apologies. But when Billy angrily says that Stevie isn't permitted anywhere near his family, her statements are ignored. Later on in the cafe, Stevie tries to get to know his grandchildren better by running into Will, Janet Mitchell, and Lexi Pierce. Billy is furious and tells Stevie to back off as soon as he learns about the lunch. Honey is emphatic that the kids should have the opportunity to get to know their grandfather in spite of everything. Can she persuade Billy to reconsider? George Knight is also devastated to learn that his mother Gloria's funeral has already occurred. Dad Eddie would not tell him anything about the service and forbade the landlord from going. George, reeling from the news, calls Rufus to set up another illegitimate boxing fight in an attempt to find a way to vent his hurt. Unaware of their father's activities, Gina and Anna Knight choose to honor Gloria's widow during a funeral service in the Vic Anna asks their half-brother, Junior, to attend. Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. on EastEnders, George Knight and his estranged son, Junior, have an explosive reunion. Complete listings are available in our TV guide. Although the landlord has previously acknowledged the existence of his firstborn, George Jr., also known as Jr., not much is known about him or the reason he and George haven't communicated in a long time. George has been attempting to get in touch with Jr. to let him know that his grandmother Gloria passed away during the past few weeks. In a voicemail that Anna Knight left for her brother, 
she begged him to assist in preventing George from participating in illicit boxing fights. The two felt Junior had distanced himself from the family after hearing nothing, but George later runs across his long-lost son. George cancels his most recent bout as he suffers from the shock of seeing Junior again. Junior goes back to the square with his father, but he doesn't feel at home among the patrons of the Vic. Junior leaves the pub, offering his excuses, and heads to Peggy's, where he meets Bianca Jackson, who is dealing with some personal issues. The two decide to return to number 25 after flirting wildly, and it doesn't take long for them to start sneaking into the bedroom. Whitney Dean is on the rampage across the square after learning that Bianca Jackson permitted Brittany Wainwright to pilfer from the market. Whitney, unable to move past it, angrily orders her stepmother to leave Bianca's life and declares she is no longer her maid of honor. As soon as Lauren Branning gets to the apartment, she finds Whitney an outfit for her hen party, saving the day. Thanking Lauren for her assistance, Whitney invites her to step in as Bianca's maid of honor. Lauren agrees, but it's obvious that she is internally tormented by her guilt at having slept with Whitney's fiancé, Zach Hudson. The attempt by Amy Branning and Denzel Danes to advance their relationship isn't going as planned over at number 20. Due to his steroid use, Denzel becomes unable to perform and offends Amy when she tries to make him feel better about himself. Later, Nugget Galati chooses to try to lift Amy's spirits after discovering her seated in McClunkey's. To Amy's horror, the teen misinterprets the cues and lunges in for a kiss. Penny Branning, who is at home, is eager to learn all the juicy details of Amy and Denzel's hookup, but she gets concerned when she learns that her sister is not doing well. Although fans will be aware that former Emmerdale star Micah Balfour will soon be featured in the part of Junior, George was heartbroken that his estranged son Junior had not replied to his or the girl's messages. After giving a moving eulogy for Gloria, George passed away from vertigo and clouded vision and collapsed to the ground while leading a toast. After learning in private about George's previous actions, Phil and Cindy exchanged a sly glance. At the hospital, Cindy, Gina, Anna, and George's fiance Elaine Peacock, Harriet Thorpe, overheard Dr. Brady's, Helena Antonio, talk. After examining George's scans, the physician rejected George's explanations for his symptoms, stating that something more recent was the cause. She clarified that memory issues could have resulted from George's brain illness chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, which was most likely caused by repetitive head trauma. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.